The relationship between West Germany and Israel remains a sensitive issue. Forty years after the Holocaust, Helmut Kohl is only the second post-war chancellor to visit Israel, and his visit is of considerable symbolic importance to both countries. In a heavily guarded red carpet ceremony at Ben Gurion Airport, Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Shamir said he hoped his talks with Kohl would deepen the friendship between the two countries. Chancellor Kohl said his visit demonstrated a bridge built between Germany and Israel across what he called the abyss of the past. But emotions still run high, and there are many Israelis who cannot forget. 200 demonstrators, some wearing concentration camp uniforms, lined the Chancellor's route to Yad Vashem, the memorial to the Holocaust. Plaques record the names of Nazi concentration camps where millions of Jews died. Kohl, who was 15 when World War II ended, placed a wreath next to the eternal flame. Bonn hopes the visit will further cement relations between Germany and Israel, but that might not be so easy. The possible sale of German weapons to Saudi Arabia has added extra complications to German attempts to convince Jerusalem it wants good relations with both sides in the Middle East conflict.